Hello, and welcome to this Linked POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about discount rules in Linked POS. There are two main discount rules in Linked POS. Item discount rules and invoice discount rules. In this video, we're going to be talking about item discount rules specifically. To add a new item discount, head on over to the rules menu. In the drop-down that appears, move your mouse over to discount rules and click on this item discount rules button. This will open up the table with all existing item discount rules that you've added into Linked POS. Note that when you first install Linked POS, this table will be empty. To add a new item discount rule, click on this green plus sign in the top left corner. This will open up the form that allows you to add a new rule. Start off by giving this rule a name. Next, choose the type. There are two main types that can be chosen, percentage and fixed. Having a percentage discount means that the discount will be a percentage of the total price of the item. Having a fixed discount means that the discount will be a specific amount deducted from the price of the item. In the next field, enter the percentage or the fixed amount you want to apply to the rule. Next comes the applies to field. You can choose all if you want to apply the discount to all the items in your store. If you choose selected, this will open up a form with a complete list of all the items in your store. The right side of the form will show you all the items currently subject to this discount. You can add a new item by choosing the item and clicking on this button. Or you can add all the items in your store by clicking on this button. To remove an item, choose the item and click on this button. Clicking on this button will remove all the items from the discount list. If you want to search for an item, you can do so by setting the criteria and using the search bar. If you choose conditional or selected in the applies to field, you'll see an additional field pop up. This field has two options that can be chosen. You can choose to apply a discount on an item if the total number of that item exceeds a set number. Or you can choose to apply a discount if the total price of that item exceeds a set value. So, in the next field, enter the minimum amount of items there must be before this discount is applicable. Next, choose the start date and the end date, and hit save. As you can see, the rule has been added to your list. If you ever want a detailed view of the rule, you can double click on it and it opens up the viewer. Note that you cannot edit a rule once it has been created, because it may cause inconsistencies in maintaining your accounting books. If you ever want to change something in a rule, you have to deactivate it. To do so, choose the rule and click on this edit button in the top left corner. This will open up the edit menu. Change the status to disabled and you will see the rule disappear from your list. When you head on over to the sales terminal and proceed to conduct the transaction, you will see that this discount is applied. Note that when you first install Linked POS, the default layout of the sales terminal window does not show the discount section. You can change the layout by heading on over to the sales terminal options window. The discount section shows you the net amount of discount applied to this invoice. Individual discounts and taxes are visible here in the invoice. Start adding the items and you will see the discount rule being implemented. In some instances, you may have multiple discount and tax rules applied. To see which discount rules are currently applied, move your mouse over to the discount section and a tooltip will appear showing you all the currently applied discount rules. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.